Markets saw some fluctuations today and no big moves at the end of the day with this interest rate talk still ongoing in the U.S. The next Fed meeting is about two weeks away. As well, there was some disappointing data released in the U.S. and the White House Trade Advisor also said that U.S. tariffs on Mexican goods might not take effect if Mexico acts on the immigration issue. Those tariffs are slated to go into effect on Monday. Now, as well, we will get new jobs data on both sides of the border on Friday. The Dow is on track to snap a six-week losing streak. A losing day in the price for oil, and it flirted with bear market territory. After new data showed U.S. crude supplies rose by 6.8 million barrels last week, that was the highest since January, and a decline was expected. So oil off by about 5% at one point today, after it dropped by 16% in May, close to its lowest level now since January. The Canadian crude index also finished sharply lower. And then Brent crude in Europe slipped below $60, for the first time since January. Now, trying to calm fears, the OPEC Secretary General spoke in New York how the organization is committed to a balanced oil market in 2019 and beyond, insisting the organization is determined to bring down inventories and restore investment. Now, OPEC and non-OPEC set to meet later this month. And with these declines in oil, it will be interesting to see what happens to gas prices just ahead of the very busy summer travel season. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is in talk to buy Bombardier's regional jet divisions. This is the latest in a series of deals reshaping the global aerospace industry. Now, both sides have confirmed the talks. Mitsubishi, though, says no decisions have been made. We did see a healthy gain in shares of Bombardier today. And decent back-to-back -back gains for shares in Apple for the first time in months. The CEO, Tim Cook, gave an interview in the U.S. In part, he says he doesn't think China will target his company in the trade dispute. He also doesn't think Apple is a monopoly. And he expressed concerns about artificial intelligence rooting out so-called fake news. Maybe a bit of a swipe at Facebook there. Shares in Apple today were higher, up by about 15% year to date. I'm Chris McCusker in the 680 Business Center for City News.